Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to today's uh, webinar spotlight. Um, today, we're going to be featuring University of, of Europe of Applied Sciences. And we're going to start in just, just a few seconds. Um, I just want to remind everyone once again that this will go live. So if you have any questions, feel free. And we encourage you to write them down so we can go over these questions at the end. And if you're not able to stick around for the complete time of the, of the webinar, don't worry about it because we'll upload these videos on our social media. So you'll be able to, to catch that later on. Um, so now, without any further ado, I'd like to welcome Alejandro Blancas um, from University of Europe for Applied Sciences. Hey, Alex as well. So um, both Alex is on this call. How you doing? How you been? I'm fine. Um, well, now at home, but yeah, it's it's fine here. And you? Good, good, good. So I wanted to touch a little, uh, a bit first on, on the location. Um, so you, I know you guys are obviously located in Europe. Um, specifically, I know you have one or two campuses and the main one in Berlin. So I want to talk a, bit, a little bit about that first. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, the thing is that we are based, uh, our main campus is in Berlin. Yeah. But we have three more. Uh, we have one in Iserland that if, if maybe is not really now this this town but it's in the northeast of germany mm -hmm. uh, it's in the border with with uh, netherlands okay so we have one campus there that is the biggest one and we have another campus in hamburg uh, we have another campus in uh, berlin and the new campus that we are opening on september of this year okay. is uh, in Potsdam. Mm -hmm. But we have already four campuses. Um, well, all of them they are really well located in the in the downtown. For instance, in Berlin we are like just four blocks away from uh, Alexanderplatz. Okay. So yeah, they well, all of them they are like really well uh, located. So yeah, we have we have four campuses there, and with uh, all of these campuses. Our, all of our students are allowed to study with us in English. So that is why uh, it's uh, right now really important. Yeah. Um, apart from international students being able to, to study in English in Germany, um, I wanted to, to look into what are some of the benefits that you think uh, students can obtain from actually picking, uh, not Berlin specifically, but Germany in this case, for, for their career, for their masters? Okay, you know, like for second year, Germany has been uh, recognized uh, as the best destination for international students. Okay. Um, um, Germany has been recognized like this because the study, the, the students, they can have a really good uh, quality of life. Okay. For instance, uh, they can study and work at the same time. Mm -hmm. They can they, they are allowed to work part time and when they finish their studies they can stay there for eighteen months more. Okay. So they are allowed to use the public uh, health, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, the public transport. Uh, the salaries are really good in Germany, even if they are working as a part time. Uh, it's really good. That's so it. yeah, the quality of life of uh, the students. Uh, it's really, really, really good in, in Germany. So that is why Germany has been recognized as the best destination for international students. Okay, well, it's good to know that many of the, the basic needs that the students will, will require will be covered. Okay, so that's great. Um, I wanted to ask a little bit about campuses now specifically. Um, I know you have, guys have multiple, but I was watching a video of them and I wanted to know why they're designed in the way they are. Because I know you guys are a bit of not artistic, but at the same time digital, and um, you go through many different programs. But what's the main focus of, of uh, University of, of Europe specifically? Well, we have two um, two parts of the university in each in each campus. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the Faculty of Business and the Faculty of Art and Design. Okay. Um, well. Since UE is quite more recognized for the business faculty, uh, two years ago, uh, UE started to being recognized as well for the art and design. So in each campus, we have the two faculties uh, divided. So for all of the students that they are, uh, I don't know, studying uh, art and design, 
uh, they have their own labs uh, mm -hmm. for photography, for instance, for communication design, for illustration. So they, they need too much more space. So the campus is divided. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, uh, every, every campus has their own building so the, the students can uh, can be there like comfort in a comfortable way. Uh, for instance, our uh, our classrooms are with maximum uh, fourteen students, okay. especially for art and design because they need a lot of space. <laughs> so yeah, but but each campus has uh, their own building for business one, and for for the art and design one. Okay, so it's really well adapted, you know, for each thing that the student might be studying. Yeah, uh, that's, for instance, so right now, the, mm -hmm. the new campus that is um, in Potsdam, mm -hmm. uh, this campus is uh, for specific programs for us. Uh, I don't know, like for the digital and innovation design uh, programs. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, we, we're, right now we, are, uh, we have launched uh, four programs there. Mm -hmm. uh, UX design, uh, the, this 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 uh, career for applications to create application and interfaces and everything. Yeah. We have software engineering that is really focusing uh, artificial intelligence. Um, we have innovation design management, and we are located in Potsdam, nearby uh, SAP. Uh, company uh, for nearby the DHL, Tesla, and all these uh, companies, mm -hmm. because um, uh, this 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 offer that we have is really uh, inter is really how, how can I say this? Emerging, uh, right? With yeah, these okay. uh, because these companies are looking for this kind of people, so we oh. are we are working in that uh, profile of. And you're, and you're right there, so that's. Perfect. Yeah, we, we are next next to the Tesla uh, building okay. and the BMW uh, building as well. And what would you say would be your top programs? Because you mentioned quite a few right now, but usually what, what are students looking for when they go to you guys? Well, since many universities offer business yeah. in Germany, uh, we are right now really focused in art and design because okay. we are like quite unique in art and design, uh, especially with digital and media and design and uh, I don't know, like game design. We have one of the top is game design, uh, film and motion design, uh, visual and experience design for masters. Um, what else? Innovation design management. So I think art the top four for art and design. Mm -hmm. And we have another uh, for uh, for business such as sport and event management. Mm -hmm. That is quite uh, our difference be among the other universities that they offer just business. Mm -hmm. We are focused maybe in in sport and event management. We have marketing um, management as well, um, and this marketing management we have and specialization in influencer business. Okay. So that is another maybe That's new. difference. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think for business, these two are the top and in art and design, the, 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 the ones that I already said. So you guys are, are very focused on the new jobs that are you know being created every day. Um, I, I want to ask a little bit because I'm really interested in what what exactly the students do when it, when it's uh, when they're studying for the marketing related to influencers. Well, the thing is that in all our programs, mm -hmm. our students have the opportunity to do uh, internships. Okay. So um, our programs are taking uh, six semesters, mm -hmm. so three years. Yeah. So during these three years, the students uh, have the opportunity to, to do the internships. So they are really involved in the real uh, jobs, you yeah. know? Yeah. And UE is focused in develop all these soft skills uh, with the students. Mm -hmm. So when the students finish their studies, they are already uh, ready to, to go to, to, to work. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, in this case, uh, Germany, uh, UE, sorry, 
uh, is helping to all of our students to find the path uh, to get a, a job, a real job, you mm -hmm. know? So it's, it's thanks to the, um, to the internships that we are doing uh, for all these uh, semesters. Yeah. And also with the masters as well. So yeah, we are like really focused on that in develop these soft skills. What was the name of the program that focuses on the influencers, though? I had just that curiosity. Uh, digital and marketing. Uh, di digital marketing and management. I, I found that really interesting because I've tried doing that in the past and I found it a bit complicated to learn how to really work with them. So I find it really interesting that you guys are, you know, moving forward as much as you guys are. Yeah, the thing is that last year was a big challenge for everyone, I yeah. think. So we, are real, we, we realized that... Um, the, the offer that we have have to be like uh, how can I say uh, reloaded mm -hmm. so influencers right now are uh, quite uh, such an, a big important in the social media yeah. it's a part of the I, I don't know right now uh, Instagram is a it's a marketplace yes and the sellers are the influencers. So yeah, it's 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 how we start creating these new programs uh, to 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 be a part of this new era, you know, like this new uh, reality that we have. So that that is an example. But for instance, we have another such as innovation design management masters. Mm -hmm. uh, where we i don't know like we create uh, we think that every every single company needs to have this innovation department if you don't have this innovation department as a company you will die yeah. you know so that's why we start like creating this uh, this innovative uh, careers opportunities for all of our students because is that the companies are looking for so that is why so you're preparing them for the jobs that will be uh, searched. Yeah, for the future, of course. You mentioned reality, and I know you guys have been doing a lot when it comes to virtual and augmented reality. Um, I think you've done something also in regard to study uh, with virtual reality. Yeah, we have we have one uh, of these programs, mm -hmm. but it's not uh, already set up. But mm -hmm. it's gonna be uh, launched in our new campus in. Okay. in I think in Potsdam, I hope next month, mm -hmm. um, you know, like we can't, we can't um, start uh, selling this because we need the state uh, accreditation. Okay. Yeah. So I hope we will have it next month, but we will, we will have a uh, virtual VR uh, mm -hmm. uh, for, 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 well, like one of our new programs for uh, Potsdam. So yeah, we we will have it, but now we will need to wait. Uh, you you will know everything about that, but yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Well, well we try to make sure to keep everyone up to date with that because it sounds extremely interesting. Yeah. Um. Now, I something that has to be asked. Um. What are the costs? Okay. Um. We have to well, go. Sorry. <laughs> everyone is scared when when I say that we are one of the fifth best private universities in Germany because yeah. when you when you see when you see that automatically you are thinking okay it's really expensive uh, so yeah we we already put a, a border but mm -hmm. no the thing is uh, in Germany we have like a really quality education and also in private universities and it's not that expensive as, as we think okay uh, i don't know like it, it depends where uh, the region you are coming from okay but uh, if you compare with the top universities in your country you could be cheaper than them okay, okay. so uh, that is why we also in this in this uh, season that we are living right now with covid and everything uh, we are giving some scholarships but it depends where the region you are coming from Okay, so um, you have to approach to 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 you, mm -hmm. um, and then you can check which uh, scholarship 
is a uh, it's available for you it depends of, of, of uh, from your region but yeah we have a scholarship as well and yeah study in germany could be cheaper than you think okay, okay. worth looking forward to and i know you guys are also very selective when it comes to what students are admitted and what's not so yes especially okay. with people that are applying for art and design okay since we are being quite recognized for this area, um, yeah, the professors are like quite uh, selective with the yeah. students, especially because um, they 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 need these talent people, you know. Uh, I don't know for all our art and design programs, uh, they need to do a portfolio. Okay. okay, where they need to show their best effort that they can do uh, in a creative way. Okay. For film and motion design, we have a specific requirements. For game design, we have a specific requirements. For every single program from art and design, uh, we need to show something uh, really, really, really good. Okay, okay. Uh, for business, we need to do some tests, uh, but quite basic, it's quite long, but basics, okay? But it's not that hard like uh, art and design. Art and design is harder, but uh, you can be sure that you will be in one of the best universities for art and design in Germany, okay? okay? So that is that it's why. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, but but it's, really, it's really easy. It's really easy and really fast. It's, I don't know, like, um, just to tell you that if you want to, well, First, in the public universities in Germany, they don't have this offer. They don't offer art and design programs okay. Okay, in the public universities. So that is why 60% of our students are locals, are from Germany. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because um, our art and design programs are offered just in this kind of universities. Yeah. Um, and the other part is that uh, the, uh, the process is faster. If you apply to a public university, I don't know, for business or something like that, you will take like four, three months to, to, to have your results if you're accepted or not. So uh, with us, uh, you can you can have your, uh, your, your results like in two weeks, three weeks, so not more. So it's really fast. And we have two intakes. We have the intake one for summer that is on March that we already start. Okay. And we have our second uh, intake that is on September. So, for instance, right now we have plenty of time to apply for the September one. Okay. But it's fast and easy. Okay. Well, I think that's a very, very much valuable information um, for the students watching. Um, what I want to do right now um, is share my screen and show everyone how to find UE on a flyway. Ah, so we're going to start that in a second. Okay, so everybody should be watching my screen right now. Um, I'm already at the profile of the school, but I'm going to walk my way uh, uh, to this profile from the home page. Now, I just want to clarify, I'm already logged in, as I mentioned. Uh, usually, it's really simple to do. So at the upper right corner, you'll be able to find login or register through the simple process. Now, to find um, UE, either through bachelor's or through, or through master's, we're going to use bachelor's in this case, simply write out the name of the university, so University of Europe, there we go. Click the name and click search. This will take us directly to the pre-profile of the school. And once here, we can simply go into read more, and this will show us the actual profile of the school with a bit of general information, Cost, a few options when it comes to scholarships, requirements, description, a few of the programs, and a geographic location with the pictures and videos of the school itself and its students. So coming back with you, Alejandro. Um, so thank you for all the information you've given us. Um, before we sign off, I, would, I wanted to ask you if you have any final thoughts or recommendations you'd like to share with any of the students watching. Okay, the recommendation that I could have now is, um, well, right now for the pandemic, all mm -hmm. the process for the visa, uh, the, all the process visa is quite slow. Yeah. 
Okay, so you need to take advantage uh, that we have first scholarships. Yeah. And then uh, as soon as you have your uh, letter of uh, your, your law, yeah. uh, you have to uh, start your visa process. Okay. Uh, it depends where you're coming from, but the visa process is taking like three or four months okay. uh, minimum. In America Latina, it's taking like six months. Okay. So if you guys are watching us from America Latina especially, and you want to start your studies this year on September, you have the time uh, to to start your process. Um, and yeah, I think it's the, it's the only recommendation that I could give, like start uh, the sooner, the better. Okay. Okay, because you can take advantage of the price uh, and the time that you have to do your visa process. And especially, for instance, if, if some students has a, a, a European passports uh, as well, they 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 can start their, their process easily um, and with a different price, okay, okay. with a local price. Okay. So it's also good. Okay, so yeah, it's for from uh, from my side, it's everything. Okay, well, well, great, perfect. Thank you, thank you again for your time for being here today. Um, this is a lot of valuable information for all the students watching. So thank you once again, um, and thank you to everyone watching. And we will see.